again. A new report from the U.S. Department of Agriculture finds child food insecurity is on the rise. Not everybody's going Around to have that situation. A growing number of households experiencing hunger in 2020. We hear it all the time. We hear how much people are struggling. People who don't know where their next meal will come from. They're often left with more questions than answers. So I decided to go and find those answers. That's when I found Karen Share Food Bank of Southern Colorado. That's where I met this woman, Joanna. I do all things storytelling here. I get to go out in the community, talk to the people who receive our food, the partners that we work with, and then I take all of that and I put it together to help really share the story of what we do. Tell me, what is Karen Share and what do you guys do here? Karen Share is the food bank that serves Southern Colorado. We are a member of Feeding America and they are the National Hunger Relief Organization. Our service area, uh, being a part of Southern Colorado, consists of 31 counties. The best way to really visualize it is by going to the town of Monument and then splitting the state in half from there on. So from the town of Monument all the way down to the New Mexico state border and then we go all the way across to the western slope and to the eastern plains. So what is it that Karen Share is providing for these people? Well, let me do my best how it's made impression and I'll show you. These are Karen Share food distribution boxes. Food boxes like these will be going out all across southern Colorado and they will feed thousands of hungry people. Much of the donated food will come in on semi-trucks. These will then be unloaded by the use of forklifts. These frozen foods are then brought to the volunteers on big pallets. They will individually sort through the foods, making sure that none are damaged, too big for the box, or need to be put into the freezer. Once the foods have been sorted, they will be individually hand-packed into the distribution boxes by volunteers. The boxes are then weighed and marked accordingly. Each box will be around 20 pounds of food, and it is then put onto a pallet. One of the volunteers will bring the full pallet to this machine here. This is a specialized machine that will wrap up the entire pallet of food boxes automatically. It's fast enough to do it in 60 seconds. The whole pallet is then weighed again and then marked by a volunteer. This one pallet is over 600 pounds. The pallet is then moved into this industrial sized freezer. where it will wait to be loaded on a truck and distributed to many families in need. Thank you. Now back to the interview. Number-wise, I guess, if we're to talk statistics, last year we distributed more than 25 million pounds of food across our service area to more than 200,000 individuals. Wait, let's break that down a little bit. So this is the average semi-truck. It'll haul around 34,000 pounds. So take about 20 million pounds of food divided by 34K, and that's 588 trucks. Line them all up bumper to bumper, and it would be around eight miles long. I'd like to see you try and jump that evil cannibal. Now, as for 200,000 people, that would fill the entire Texas Motor Speedway. Since it's been Thanksgiving, and you know, this is the season of gluttony, you know, everyone's gathering around for a big old turkey dinner. Is this like your busiest time of year? The holiday season is definitely one of the busiest times of year for us. Uh, it's typically the time where we will ramp up our work because there are more families and individuals who will reach out to food pantries across Southern Colorado for a little bit of extra help. The summertime is one of the busiest times of year for us because kids are out of school. And when they don't have access to free meals 
at school, that's when we have to step up. So during the summertime, we really increase what we call our mobile food pantry distributions. That is where we will take a semi-truck full of food. We fill it up with fruits and vegetables, bread, dairy, shelf-stable items, and then we go out into a community where we know that there is great need, and then we can host a distribution there. So we get the word out in the community, and then families can go there to get the food that they need. I think that it's more than food, that what we're giving out, it's something that allows people to really take off any of the burden or the worry that they have in life for a moment and just to be able to get around the table and to experience time shared with their family to make memories, that goes so much more beyond than what is simply on a plate. Okay, so everyone knows that America is a fat country. How come that we don't look upon food like insecurities as seriously as we should? At Care and Share, our purpose is to bridge the gap between hunger and abundance. And what we really mean by that is we know that there is an excess of food, not only here in Colorado, but all across the country that is being wasted. It's perfectly good food that is going directly to the landfills that we know could instead go to neighbors who need it. So as part of our mission, we want to be able to step in, rescue that food, and then provide the resources to then get it to the communities that would be able to enjoy it. How can people help? How can people donate? What should what should they donate? Should they donate peanut butter, non-perishables, money? That's a great that's a great great question, especially when it comes down to the type of food that we're looking for. So at the end of the day, it's uh, non-perishables that we're really looking for. So those are the shelf stable items that we know are going to last a long time, um, that our partners will be able to get out to our neighbors and they can put it in their pantries and it's not something that will go bad really quickly. Uh, we're always looking for peanut butter and protein. So canned tuna, canned chicken, that is really helpful. Um, box dinners, box snacks, packaged meals, those really go a long way as well. Monetary donations are always helpful in the sense that it allows us to be able to stretch your dollar so that way it goes even further. For every dollar that's donated, we're actually able to acquire about eight pounds of food. Uh, and at the end of the day, when it's an entire truckload that we're bringing in, that is a lot that we're able to do. It provides variety, corn on the cob, and watermelon, and squash to also be able to provide to our neighbors where they have that good variety. If it's not something that is so physical that you're able to donate, like food or money, time is one of the best ways that you can also give back, is coming in and volunteering. And there are so many different volunteer opportunities that we have available where we always say that volunteers are the heart of our organization and we really wouldn't be able to do what we do without them. Hunger doesn't have one story, and that is one of the challenges that we come across, is the stigma around hunger. Oftentimes, the issue of hunger and need for access to food can be invisible. It's one of those um, issues that you don't really see every single day when you're out and about in the community, uh, because a lot of times it happens behind closed doors, where it is a single mom who is working a full-time job but it's still not enough. And so at the end of the day, she is maybe not eating as much food on her own and she's cutting down some of her own meals to make sure that her child could have the food that they need every single day. So when we aren't seeing that in person, uh, it's not something that is as top of mind for us. At the end of the day, if there is someone who steps up and they say that they're in need of food and they need some extra support, then we believe that we should be there to help them out. No questions no requirements, um, it should just be provided because it's a basic need and it's something that we need every single day to be able to thrive in life. Thank you to all the kind and hardworking volunteers and staff of Care and Share. For more behind the scenes, check out Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Care and Share FB. And for more information on how you can help, visit careandshare.org.